Johnson again going deep this time McBride's open into the end zone for the Wildcat touchdown. This is the Josh Johnson that Norm Chow and Winston Moss and this whole Hell organization envisioned when they made him their first selection to be their quarterback and lead this team. They're utilizing his athleticism, using that run game, play action. He pulled up and a great route by McBride. Kind of ran a double move. Great opening job drive. We talked at the opening of the show, Kurt, about trying to establish themselves and find their rhythm here and bounce back in week three. And they couldn't have asked for a better opening to this game. Just on the wrong side. Jones in the shadows. Oh, that one is picked off. Arion Springs with the interception. And we didn't even get to the fact that this L.A. Wildcat defense comes in last against the pass, missing their starting two cornerbacks. But so what? Arion Springs steps in and gets the interception. Yeah, you'll see. They just try to. They just. They run a sprint out. You got to speed out by the outside guy. And they haven't done it thus far. Still early, but we will see. As Cardell Jones, that was picked off. Mike Stevens with the interception. These two backup corners starting today already each have a pick in the first quarter. Yeah, and again, it just doesn't seem at the top of his of his drop that Cardell has a lot of confidence and feels clear about where to go with the ball. Johnson, all kinds of time. Underneath and open, caught Montez Carter, first and goal. Here we go. And they hand it off to one of them, Larry Rose. Lowers his shoulder into the end zone for the score. Their targets this year. Here comes the pressure. And going. Screen play. Carter. Got it. Two points added on in L.A. He's got a 14-0 lead. You can't say enough about this running backs group. And when we, when we talked to Norm Chow and we said, hey, who's going to fill up? Who can fill in some space? Who's going to help you guys pick up the slack when teams start taking away Nelson Spruce? And he mentioned the running back group as a whole. And you see here today with Carter and Rose, these two guys have really carried a load and taken a lot of pressure off this pass game. Yeah, in all the XFL. Here's Josh Johnson going deep down the sideline. This time, Trey McBride hauls it in. He wasn't going to let that opportunity pass him up. You knew he was kicking himself from the earlier drop on what would have been his second touchdown, and Josh Johnson comes back to him again. This time, nothing fancy. He just runs a go route on the outside, runs right by. Again, remember, that's good coaching. Remember, Lawrence just came out of the game, and now he's replaced by his backup, Duran Grant. And he just runs right by him. Team. Yep. This is just an all-around unbelievable effort. He got there so fast, the punter pulled the ball back. Yeah. He didn't even attempt to punt it. It's not often that you see that. I thought Tocho blocked it and recovered it. He yeah. didn't even have to block it. Yeah, you see. Here go. Seven linemen again. Carter trying to dive into the end zone, and he got it. Here go. Now for the one point. And they get it again. Larry Rose. And it's now a 27 to nothing Los Angeles lead. <laughs> Pressure from the edge and Cardell goes down. Cedric Reed, the blitzing linebacker with the sack. They fake the draw. Jones looking down the right side. Jack Tocho with the interception. Just another example. Cardell just kind of forcing that ball, trying to get it all on one throw. Oh, flag on the snap as the defense jumped off early, and what a catch made by Trey McBride as they take advantage of the free play. That's exactly what Norm Chow talked about this week. 
And there they go, two Spruce. Did he get one foot in bounds? That's all you need here, he did. Just makes Spruce that much more effective. Johnson has time. Caught, big hit afterwards, and Trey McBride is still down. Yeah, he took a good shot there. Shot from Jamarco Thomas. And now they threw a late flag. Out of the backfield, Carter with blocks. Carter flipped into the end zone. Hey, he told you he tapped. If he could get there one more time, he'd do a flip. This time, he delivered. Great is that. I hope Jenny holds him to that, Kurt. He promised her. I hope he holds her, but what a great play call there. A designed swing screen to the running back. Blake, the defenders. On fourth down, Jones intercepted again. His fourth pick thrown. Mike Stevens, his second interception of the game, and he's going down the sideline with help. Flags come flying out as he's down in D.C. territory, but another big play by this L.A. defense. Just talked about it, Kurt. These guys have stepped up from the first quarter all the way throughout the game, and they have just been too much for this passing game, this Pep Hamilton-led passing game with Cardell Jones. The guy behind me gets some playing time here and gets some burn, but uh, especially as an older guy. Johnson, Spruce, his second reception of the day, and it's a big one. Here, third in the yard. Oh, they get that and more. Martez Carter going in for his third. Touchdown of the game. There's the backflip. Mr. Excitement. This is awesome. I mean, what an unbelievable. I mean, taking the most out of your opportunities. Talked about Elijah Hood, their starter. Had some struggles the first two weeks. Carter's now getting his, his chance, and God, is he making the most of it. Set. First down and more. Still on his feet. And the defenders get their first touchdown of the game. And a lot of people are happy that this game is now over 44 and a half points. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Anybody who was sweating the over. And so Pep Hamilton goes down in defeat for the first time as a head coach at any level, while Winston Moss gets his first win as a head coach at any level. 39 to 9 in the final. Los Angeles with the win. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis, download the ESPN app and for live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.